after a few months I've been there, uh, three rating, one naval rating, and uh, three army privates or so, and a sergeant went to uh, AWOL and uh, were living with their Italian mistresses in the outside of Naples and had taken jeeps and were raiding farms in order to live and so on. And then they, in one of these uh, uh, attacks on a farm, they killed another service man. And the result was that each rating or service man had to be tried for murder by their own force. So the Canadian one and the American one and the English one were all tried, each one. And uh, of course this was completely new for the Navy because murder in the Navy can always be tried in England. They have, uh, it, wherever the Navy is, if there's a criminal offence uh, that involves a naval personnel, they can be tried in England for it. So murder cases and such like had always been tried in England. And this caused, caused consternation in C&C men's uh, <laughs> uh, headquarters, Caserta. What the hell were you going to do about this? So they then discovered I was the only lawyer on the staff. So Hutchinson was sent for and told, you've got to prosecute this man, prepare the case, find the witnesses, uh, and, and uh, present the case to a court martial of five senior Mediterranean Royal Naval officers dressed in full regalia in a courtroom which was created in the San Carlos Opera House in Naples for the for the purpose in a wonderful room with chandeliers and beautiful paintings and so on was set up to try this case and so there I was a completely just qualified barrister and it must be unique in the history of the bar his first case was a murder case. <laughs>